friends, it's Katie. Welcome back to Royalty Soaps. Today is a very impromptu video, meaning I decided I was gonna do it a sum total of 20 minutes ago. So this cool company called Brambleberry occasionally sends me boxes of goodies. The most recent collection Brambleberry unveiled is the glorious Celestial collection. Let me show it to you. Here are all of the little goodies. It came in a beautifully packaged box, but you know I've chunked that. You got this extra coarse sea salt. Like this is some chunky sea salt. You've got this blue eco glitter. It's super duper pretty. This isn't a primary blue. This is more of a navy. Next up is galaxy violet mica. This is like a blue purple. It's really, really got some dimension to it. It came with a 2019 moon calendar. That's pretty cool. Look at this. These are pieces of paper used for wrapping products or otherwise decorating your packaging. Oh my god. Please, sis, please. And finally, here's the showstopper, the Celestial Collection of Fragrance Oils. We have Night Violet, Moon Child, Dark Crystal, and Galactic Skies. Sniff test! Wow. Mmm, night violet, super nice. Not too floral, which is honestly kind of refreshing. Violet, jasmine, lemon, cucumber water, and musk. So that's probably why that lemon and that cucumber water take it to a, a spa place rather than a floral place. Let's see how we like moon child. Oh, heck yeah, moon child. Mmm, oh yeah. This has um kind of a, a lemony herb smell to it. It says pomelo, thyme, white tea, tuberose, nutmeg, honey. <laughs> oh, yes, please. Please. Dark Crystal, mmm. This is gonna be a deeper one, I think. Oh yeah, ooh. Okay, so there's definitely Tonka Bean in there. I've smelled a lot of fragrances, y'all. I can be that specific. Look, let me, let me look at my cheat sheet. Pepper, Jasmine, Cinnamon, Cedarwood, Tonka Bean, yeah. This one might be my favorite so far. And we only have one more left. This is Galactic Skies. Oh, this is nice. So this kind of has um, a unisex cologne smell to it. Mmm, yeah, watery notes is what I'm getting from that one. That one's nice, let's see. Burger Bergamot, cardamom, ozone accord, and musk. Dang, these are good. This is a great fragrance oil collection. I like every single one of them. The new celestial collection is inspired by constellations, lunar phases, and crystals. Try new fragrances and eco glitters that are out of this world. Bruh. Ugh. I am living. Oh yes, and let me not forget to show you. They have a little bag. Look, it has this cute little tag on it. And in the bag were these crystals, three pieces of rose quartz and this awesome amethyst. I'm gonna have to bring these in a little closer for y'all to see because they really are truly stunning and hand picked it looks like. If you'd like to see me make cold process soap based on amethyst crystals and rose quartz, I'll leave you guys some links now because I done already made them. Now basically the only thing I know I wanna make for sure are some little mini moon melt and pour soaps. So I'm gonna add a little bit of liquid black colorant into here. In here being my low sweat melt and pour soap from SFIC. I'm gonna blend that in really good. Then I'm gonna put in a little bit of black mica. That's gonna add a little shimmer to it. The mica is subtle, but it it definitely adds something. I'm gonna fragrance this with the dark crystal fragrance oil because I think it's fitting. Gotta blend that in really well. Let's go ahead and pour it into this mold. Ugh, I am living for this fragrance, you guys. Y'all are gonna love this one. If you like Dragonfire and Brimstone, there's definitely some similarities. It's got that kind of smoky smell to it, but still a lot of sweetness and definitely the amber is Hecka detectable. Now I'm not filling up these cavities all the way because I'm gonna come back after this melt and pour has set up a little bit and put a moon on top and I don't want it to sink to the bottom. So I have to leave a little bit more room for melt and pour to kind of circle around that moon embed. Lots of people have asked me my opinion on whether or not doing melt and pour soap is actually soap making. I don't see any need to, you know, beat people up for their soaping preferences. Some people like to do melt and pour because they're not comfortable with um, using lye. 
And that's, that's totally fine. I totally get it. Like, that's not something you want to keep in your house. Or maybe you, you know, can't get away from your pets. Or you don't want it around your kids. I like, dude, that's totally fine. Um, and I don't see any reason for a soap making snobbery in that department. If some people want to do um, this method of, of soap, soap crafting and uh, you want to do a different type, then there's no shame in any of the types. It's just just a craft, just a hobby, just just fun. Okay, so I'm gonna take the rest of this. You can see there's still plenty left in here. I'm gonna move it out of the way. I'm gonna let these set up a little bit before I put the moons on top. I'm gonna wait maybe five minutes or so. It's been about five minutes, so I'm going to proceed to place the moons that I have on top. This is using the Brambleberry column mold that's moon shaped. I'm just gonna place them all in and then after that I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna poke kind of puncture those tops a little bit just so they connect really well to the next layer that I'm gonna pour. Poke, 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 poke. Poke, poke. I'm going to be a little bit more precise with this particular part and use a pipette to put this in the mold. Give it a spritz with rubbing alcohol if it starts to bubble up like that. So basically, I'm just going to continue poking all around these soaps, filling up my pipette with some more of the black, and then going around this entire moon embed until I've done the entire tray. While I was finishing up those little moon soaps, um, I was thinking about what I would do next. So I decided I wanted to do a set of four larger soaps. And I'm gonna make kind of a galaxy look on the front of them. I'm gonna take some of this blue eco glitter, put it in a line, kinda like this. Yeah, like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, it's a little better if it's not. There's a little much clumped in one area. I'm just gonna move it around. I'm gonna take some of this galaxy violet. I'm gonna plop some little splats in there. Just a few per bar. I'm gonna do that with some white mica too. I think that'll that'll add to it. Then I'm gonna put a little of this holographic eco glitter from Brambleberry in there as well. And then I have a little bit of clear melt and pour that I fragranced with Galactic Skies and I added just a little bit of glitter there too. So I'm gonna let that run across the top. This is just to kind of seal in the pretty stuff I put on the base because this is actually gonna be the front of the soap right here. Okay, perfect. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna mix up the other colors now. So basically, I just kept pouring more layers, and as I began pouring, I realized, yeah, I'm gonna have to do a voiceover for this part because I was making stuff up as I was going along. I was mixing in more purple, mixing in more glitter, mixing in a little bit of glitter here, a little bit of glitter there, a little bit of whitener here, a little bit not, oh man, it was crazy. By the end of it though, this is what the soap looks like. So I'm gonna let that harden before I take it out and I pretty them all up. And I honestly can't wait to see what it looks like on the other side. So basically what I have now is a bunch of dishes and a whole bunch of creative ideas. And it's about 11 o'clock at night. So this video might have to be shot in two parts because I definitely wanna do more with this kit, but I'm out of time for today. The next day. So I decided I wanna make some bath salts. Gonna put in some coarse grain European spa salt. And I'm gonna spritz this with some sparkly stuff. I'm also gonna add in some red 33 dye. This is from Fizz Fairy. And I'm gonna stir this around. And the cool thing is, is that this powdered dye looks black when it's not wet. But when you mix it up with water, it turns the water a pinky red. Okay, I added a little bit of the dark crystal fragrant soil. Definitely gonna add some more sparkle in there. I'm also adding some some sodium laurel sulfur acetate. 
not to be confused with sodium lauryl sulfate. I'll mix that in. Now I'm gonna put some sea salt, the extra coarse kind that they have, into this cup. And it's a little tough to see in here, but I am gonna mix it all up. I've added some gold bursting beads from Brambleberry, but I think I'm gonna add a little bit more. This is from their soiree collection. A few more squirts of some sparkles. Well, now some pink salts. And for the fun part, mixing all these together. Oh, cool. It looks like the rocks on the bottom of fish tanks. <laughs> Just gonna put them in these little tubes that I have. I have a little bit more left in my container here, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it to this jar, and um, I think I'm gonna use it for myself in my bath tonight. Actually, I think I'll put a little bit in here. Then I'll add some water to it to show you guys what the dye does. All right, y'all ready for this? Ooh, yes. Pretty, right? Oh, I love it. Super potent and non-staining. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the lids on these. They're so cute. Cool, so there you have it. Some galaxy foaming bath salts. If this is something you would be interested in getting from royalty soaps that would uh, turn your bath different colors and add some bubbles to it and some hydrating oils, I'd probably make them an actual recipe for them. Vote on the question of the day by clicking the I in the upper right hand corner of the the screen because these would be really fun to make in like all the different colors of the rainbow. And as we are on day number two, obviously the projects that I made yesterday are ready to be released from their molds. This is what the little mini soap samples look like. They're super, super cute and of course smell super good. And I'm really anxious to see what these look like. I have a feeling each one's gonna be a little bit different. Ooh la la, oh my goodness. They look and smell super nice and that blue glitter is so pretty. So here's the close up of the galaxy soap. I'm glad we put that clear layer on first because now it really does look like the stars. I went ahead and beveled the edges on this one and you can see the side view the bottom of all of them. Oh, that's so cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know I sure did. I made some bath salts, made some little mini soaps, made some big galaxy bars, so much fun. I will definitely be using more of these fragrance oils. I think I'm gonna make more of these little mini soaps when I find the time right now. It's kind of late, I should probably go to bed. Thank you, Brambleberry, for sending me the Celestial Collection. If you guys enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, Maybe subscribe to the channel, give this video a big thumbs up. What other galaxy things should I make? Maybe I should do like some whipped sugar scrub or something. Make it black with sparkles. Have an absolutely royal day, you guys. Do something fun, make it fresh, make it smell amazing, and I will see you guys soon. So until then, bye for now.